Today we're looking at this fully modular 80 plus gold power supply from Be Quiet. The front of the box is pretty simple. It tells you there it's 80 plus gold. It's obviously Be Quiet. It is a pure power 11 FM, exceptionally quiet, superior features, and it's 850 watt, but they're all over wattage available. On the back, it tells you about Be Quiet. It also says developed in Germany. The QR code on there, which will take you to the product guide on the website. It also tells you about the voltages there as well. One thing it doesn't mention on the box at all is what connections come in there. So how many SATA leads, how many PCI Express and so forth. That is nowhere on the box and it should be. If you're buying that in the store, you're not gonna know. So inside the box, this is what it looks like. We've got a multilingual manual, which has got roughly around about five or six pages in each language with basic information and safety instructions. It does come with a few cable ties. Would have been better, to be honest with you, if we didn't have this plastic bag. And secondly, if they were reusable. And we've also got some black screws in a plastic bag. Okay, first of all, we've got a power cable. Obviously, depending on where you are in the world and where you're getting it from, it will come with a different cable. But ours was one and a half meters long. Otherwise, we've got all the other cables. All the internal cables are flat black, which basically means the cable is flat, as in it looks a bit like paper, I suppose, width. Uh, and then they are black, so flat black, with the exception of the 2024 pin connection. Personally, I would have preferred that to be some form of flat black cable as well, because this is the cable what usually you struggle to route around your PC because it's usually too thick so i would have preferred that to be flat black or at least a combination of cables which we've seen on other power supplies okay so connections we've got in here on the cable so we've got the 20 slash 24 pin cable which connects to your motherboard you've also got a 4 plus 4 cpu connection which plugs into the top of your motherboard as well as well as an 8 pin cpu connection as well you've also got four pci express connections 10 SATA connections, two Molex, and one floppy if you really wanted to use one. But bear in mind, different wattage power supplies do come with slightly different cable con um, configurations. So, for example, the 1000 watt power supply comes with six PCI Express connections. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the power supply itself. As you can see, there's a shroud across there. It's got seven blades, and these blades are ribbed and they're screwed in with black screws. Pretty straightforward. On this side here, which you would have facing outwards of your case near your power supply shroud or whatever, it says be quiet, and that's molded into the side. On the reverse side, you've got your specifications, like your voltages and everything like that. Stuff you probably wouldn't need. Personally, I'd prefer that on the top. Just it's just me. I always prefer that on the top. I prefer something on this side, like branded, to be honest with you. But again, that's down to preference. This side, you've got all your connections. It's key to go with whatever cable you're plugging in there. Again, because it's modular, you don't need to plug in cables you're not using. So, for example, you'd plug your SATA cables in there, and your motherboard cable there. Pretty straightforward. On the reverse side, you have got your power supply power connection. So, pretty straightforward. And then a rocket switch for on and off. There's no special buttons. <laughs> So I've done some testing on the power supply. The power supply performs very well for a gold power supply on our test bench, which is a Intel 12th Gen i9 12900K processor and a GeForce 3070 graphics card and so forth. It got a full load of 597 watts coming out of the wall, which means it's quite efficient. It's very efficient compared to, for example, a bronze where you would be using probably around about 25, 30 or 40 watts, potentially more power because it's less efficient. So this is very efficient. So in basics, what does a power supply let you do? Obviously it is efficient. As we've said, it's modular. As you know, we've been through all that. You've got continuous power on there because it's got two 12 volt rails ensures rock solid voltage stability and so forth. It's quiet, so we can hear it over the rest of the fans on our test bench, which is very good. So it shouldn't be an issue unless you're going to be really pushing it to its max. But we, we always recommend with any power supply, when you're configuring a machine, you give a 20% leeway. So if, for example, your machine adds up, says, let's say, a 500 watt power supply, we recommend you use a minimum of a 600 watt. And so forth. it says you need a 1000 watt, we recommend you go for a 1200. It gives you that little bit of leeway just in case. But saying that it performs well, you've got advanced stability, voltage regulation, all the different things you should get, multi-GPU support, 
fa safety features, pretty much stuff what you will get on most power supplies anyway. And it comes with a five year manufacturer warranty, which is also very good. So in conclusion, well, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, it, but what it is, is basically exactly what it says. It's pure power. So you're getting a decent power supply without loads of rubbish extras, which you're probably not going to use, which is really good. And it's just giving you that good power, as we should say. So overall, if you can pick one up for a decent price, we would recommend this product. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>